someone who has spoken out. Today, British Prime Minister David Cameron will outline tougher counterterrorism measures, including the possibility of seizing passports. This coming after Britain raised its terror threat level late last week. Kitty Logan is live from London with the latest. Kitty, what are we expecting to hear from David Cameron today? Well, the Prime Minister has been meeting with his coalition partner throughout the weekend to hammer out details of these new measures. We're expecting him to talk about that in a statement to Parliament later today. Now, on Friday, Mr Cameron indicated he would be cracking down harder on British citizens suspected of joining the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. One step would be to make it easier to strip these fighters of their British passports, for example. This can already be done to a certain extent, but it's thought the government wants to strengthen this legislation. Now, it's thought that as many as 500 British citizens have gone out to fight in Iraq and Syria. The Prime Minister wants to do more to prevent them returning to the UK. He's expected to announce plans for greater cooperation with airlines to restrict travel, for example, and more sharing of information about terror suspects with other governments, such as Turkey and Germany. Now, there are some measures already in place, but the Prime Minister says he wants a lot more to be done to tackle this threat, which he describes as greater than he's ever seen before. We will be getting more details about this in just a few hours, Heather. And that lends itself to the next question, Kitty, which is why the need to strengthen legislation? I think the government is very concerned about how many of these British citizens are going out to Iraq and Syria and the level of brutal violence they've been engaged in there. And the real worry is what these people could do if and when they return to the UK and Europe. Some of them have been engaged in horrific violence, beheadings, mass killings. And of course, we saw one British jihadi speaking on the video showing the murder of James Foley. Now, a number of these fighters have already t returned to the UK, but the government here is under enormous pressure to prevent more coming back in future. Now, this is by no means an easy problem to tackle, but certainly the government wants to do a lot more about this to prevent further problems in future, Heather. All right, Kitty Logan, live for us with the latest. Thank you. Well, the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee raising a red flag about the president's slow reaction to ISIS and whether or not it may give our enemies some ideas of their own.